Shout out Good His TV, that's my guy right there. <laughs> Shout out Good His TV, you heard? What's up, good? It's Gang. You know, we're about we're bleeding a block for the best underground rap here in New York City and beyond. You guys know I like to do these interview intros in exotic places Miami, Vegas, Italy, cool neighborhoods in New York City. But I decided to make it simple for this one and go to the park, my favorite park, Fort Greene Park, because these two special rappers are repping out for the Fort Greene neighborhood of Brooklyn in a different and stronger way than any rapper I've seen before. I'm talking about the Rich Brothers, of course, Rich Glizzy and Rich Nunu. They've been on a roll recently, dropping Backdoor, All Rakes Drop. Rich Nunu had his freestyle on On The Radar, a rap blog here in New York City, and he also dropped Heartless as well. And this interview is dope. We're covering a variety of topics, the latest in drama and Brooklyn drill scene, the rise in Bronx rap, whether they're collaborating with Bronx artists, and their latest musical projects. And we also ask the typical Good Hits TV questions. So stay tuned, sit back, and relax for volume five. I can't believe we're on volume five, and shit, it's brick out here. Volume five, episode two, featuring the one, the only, Rich Nunu and Rich Glizzy. What's up, good? It's Gang. You know what we're about. We're bleeding the block for the best underground rap here in New York City and beyond. And shit, we got a treat for y'all today. We got a treat. We got a couple of Brooklyn guys in the building, a couple of Fort Greene guys in the building. Let's start out easy. Let's get some names and where you guys are from and where you guys grew up. Rich Nuno from Fort Greene. I grew up. I grew up in the Fort. I ain't rich because you're half on the foot. I grew up in the foot. Oh, yeah. We both in there. So, a lot of people, like, I feel like y'all's fan base over the past year and shit has been growing a lot. You guys mm -hmm. got people outside of Brooklyn listening to your music. Could you talk about what what was like growing up in Fort Greene? Because a lot of people go to Fort Greene, they're like, oh, this is like a nice, like, neighborhood. And then there's this other side of Fort Greene that people don't see and shit. So, how was it growing up in Fort Greene? Trench race. Yeah, hey, ruthless. ruthless. <laughs> We're too bad. Shit, ruthless, you are. You gotta be prepared to live inside the fort, you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not, it's for not built for everybody. Do you guys think you could ever see yourselves as your music career developing, like moving out of Fort Greene, moving out of the area, maybe even moving out of Brooklyn? Yeah. Damn. I say like two, two, one or two years. Hell yeah. Have you guys been outside of like, have you guys been out to like Miami, Atlanta, yeah, yeah, like that? I just came from Miami, like, we go. Oh damn! How do you like it out there? We soon be there. I'm trying to. Yeah. I thought we soon be living it. Oh hell yeah, Glizzy! Have you been out there too? Where? Miami. Yeah, I've been out there. Oh nice, nice, nice. That's dope, dude. Um, how long have you guys been rapping? When do you guys when do you guys kind of start? I feel like people really started taking note of you guys like a year ago. You guys dropped that one. Remember, you guys dropped that one song, "Shot by Clove Visions." I feel like y'all were fucking with Clove Visions before any other Brooklyn rapper was. Nah, Remember, yeah. that was like a that's, year ago, bro. Yeah, I'm happy you pointed that out. Clove, <laughs> Clove, that's my guy. Down a lot. He, he made shows for me. He got a video done every week. That's how I fuck with my son, Clove. I don't know. Now he don't fuck with us no more. I don't know. Yeah, my son don't be giving us that much. Yeah, interest. Clove's Hollywood now, bro. Hollywood now, but for me. <laughs> he shot. He, you know, isn't we the first person he shot? Yeah. Yeah, for me. He wasn't the first person, but we the first lit for me. I feel that. I feel that. Who do you guys, who's y'all's favorite cameraman you've worked with? Because I feel like you guys have worked with King Frame, you guys have worked mm -hmm. with Chloe. Um, early on, didn't you guys work, who else did you guys work with? Haitian Picasso, am I making that up? Nah, yeah, we ain't working with him, man. I feel like John Centron, I feel like. Yeah, guys... I work with John Centron. You work with John Centron? Right? Yeah. Nah, I feel really, I really fuck with my son King and my son affiliated. Mundo. Who? Mundo. Smundo. Smundo, yeah, Smundo. Oh, yeah. Shout out yeah, my son, yeah. Big Ape, too. He shit it. Big Ape is my good. Son too, yeah. Whenever I think of I Big Ape, I ain't gonna lie. Whenever I think of Big Ape, I usually think of like Harlem and like yeah. Bronx rap and shit. You guys have a video out with Big Ape? Yeah. Yeah, back, back door. door. Oh, back door. Shit. Damn. That was like kind of recent one, right? Yeah. Too. Damn. Nice, nice. Um, what's y'all's like favorite song you guys have released, period, as a duo? Because I know you guys have some solo stuff. But I feel like when the rap community in New York thinks of Rich Glizzy or Rich New, they think of you guys as like a duo. Like yeah. they just expect yes. you to see you both on the song. I said fuck yes. But um, I say Revenge. Revenge is good. Yeah. PSA Part 2. That's my shit. Um, 
What about that song with uh, JD, man? I feel like that shit went oh, yeah. viral, bro. I got to find that song. Yeah, that shit fire. Oh, yeah. Hello. Dude, what is, like, for a lot of the re- for a lot of your fans who might not be tuned in, what is FNO and what is YPF? As a blogger, I know what that is, like, as a rap collective, as who the rappers are and stuff, but what does that mean to y'all? Like, YPF? Yeah. Young Positive Family. Hell yeah. Hell Fit, yeah. Um, FNO, Fear No One. Nice, nice. Can't Hell forget yeah. about Takedown Game. Down, down. Yeah. Who is the best YPF rappers, if you could list one or two? Other than you guys, you can't list yourself. Mm. Top one or yeah. two. T five, ran T five, two T five. There's a couple of them. Donnie Miller. I think Zami. Donnie is like mad underrated. Like yeah. if he released more, he would like. Be nah, yeah, I got, yeah, that's a fact. He would yeah. Be like, my son is Zabi, you know Zabi. Zabi, but he has he's he can't be releasing music. Like he's mad talented, but he's inside right now, mm. as far as I know. So. Yeah. Um. What about you, Glizzy? Like, top one or two YPF rappers? My son T5. You yeah. know who that is? No, I don't know who T5 is. Why don't I know who that is? Search him up after this. Yeah. yeah, you can search him up after this. Um, T5. And... My son Izzy. Oh, I forgot Izzy. about Izzy, yo. My son Izzy. The Yawa yeah. man himself, dude. I need to interview Izzy, dude. I've been trying to interview him for a minute. Oh, all right. This is, this is, another, this is another artist. D-Sav. Yeah, shout D-Sav, out my son yeah, Sav. I'm surprised you guys didn't say D-Sav. Shout out my son Sav. He's like a veteran at this point. He's been nah, releasing. Yeah, he, he, he's not a low-key veteran. Yeah. Yeah. See, I always shout out my son Sav. Yeah. Yeah, shout out my son Sav. I feel that. I feel that. Um, what, like, what do you, do you guys consider yourselves like drill rappers? Like, one thing I noticed about you guys is like, some drill rappers try to be versatile and they'll make some like melodic song and it doesn't even sound good. I feel like you guys stick with drill rap. Do you guys consider yourselves drill rapper? Or are you guys experimenting with different styles of rap and stuff yeah, like we, that? We experiment, but I, I think we all around. We just don't chop. I mean, we only give y'all drill music. Yeah, we only give y'all drill music. We, we, we got we got a couple band, of songs. You know, we don't yeah. use our drill shit for me. We can do anything. Um, and why do you guys mostly focus on drill? Is it because of it? it it's what popular. fans know you for. It's popular right yeah. now. It's what people are tuning into right now. Yeah. Damn. What, um, do you guys ever collaborate with artists outside of the YPF, like group and collective yeah. Of, yeah. of people? Yeah. What about rappers from different boroughs, like Harlem, Bronx? Is it like, could your fans look forward to you guys collaborating with some Bronx rappers? Yeah. What do you guys yeah. think about the... I mean, that would be love. Oh, shit. It's, have you dropped the visual for that? No. Nah. We made some. Do a visual for that? Nah, we we gonna, we gonna make something else, but I, we we should we should. Damn, dude, I didn't know that. Is that on SoundCloud? Nah, yeah. Where is that? Nah, it's, it, it got leaked by somebody. I don't know. But so it got, it's a leak on YouTube. Yeah, but we definitely got some. Shy K, I miss sure Shy K. Shy K too, you gangster. Wait, but there, but there's no visual for it, right? Nah. Dude, nah, you guys need to drop that. I feel like that's everybody, money, everybody bro. Everybody say that, bro. Everybody say that. Gangster. Well, do you got? Could you guys see yourself? Make sure, make sure we drop this. Hey, tell everybody tag me up. Tell me I shoot that. Yeah, Shy K too, gangster. Shy K too. Are you guys gonna go to B Love show at yeah. Madison nah. Square Garden? No. Nah. No. Nah. Damn, dude, it looks lit as hell, dude. <laughs> is it in Madison Square Garden or Barclays Center? If it's Barclays Center, it's right oh, near you God, guys too. I don't even know which one. Damn, that's wild. Are you guys? Could you guys see yourself doing like live performances, doing venues, shit like that soon? Yeah. Is that something you guys want to do? Yeah. I fuck with it. Yeah. <laughs> what are some? What are some artists that like? people wouldn't expect that you guys might be collaborating with any outside of new york city artists that have reached out to you guys wanting to collaborate anything like that no. in terms of your music making process do you when you guys get in the studio do you guys usually come in and like write stuff before or is it off the dome when you're in the studio i'd be freestyling sometimes i write and sometimes i go to the dome i ain't lie lately i've been going off the dome i've been jacking it <laughs> i feel that i feel that um in terms of beats, like we were talking off camera, there was some dope beats going around. What do you guys think of like sample drill? Like I feel like there's a lot more sample drill going around, like Brooklyn, Bronx. Mm-hmm. Are you guys jacking it? Yeah, do you I'm guys see it? Because I feel like I haven't heard you guys on sample drill yet. Yeah, we ain't dropped nothing yet from sample. We got a lot of samples though. No, I'm in a sample who in the air. Oh yeah, yeah, you are, you are. That's true. Yeah, you got a, you got mad samples. I ain't gonna lie, you gotta drop them though. So do you guys like it? You guys think it's yeah. pretty good? Okay, yeah. okay, I feel that. I feel that. Could you guys see yourself ever making like a melodic song where you're kind of like singing, you put some auto tune on, or is yeah. that not really? Yeah, you guys, I got songs like that too. Damn, damn. Um, what do you guys think of like 
the kind of explosion of drill music since like you guys have been rapping you guys have seen it you guys had a front seat since 2017 2016 how big drill has become do you think there's more people nationally focused on new york rap do you have do you guys have fans hitting you up outside yeah, of new york fans. city now yeah from everywhere yeah, yeah. So do you think kind of like drill rap has been good to New York City, the rap community, in yeah. terms of getting the names out there, getting people signed to labels, stuff yeah, that's like a that? Fact. That's definitely mm -hmm. a fact. Where do you guys see yourself musically in the next few years? Do you guys want to be signed by, go get signed by a record label? Do you want to stay independent? independent. What's kind of your goals with music? We're going to stay independent. Yeah, we're going to stay independent. Nice. Do you, yeah, we got, we're going we're gonna to make our own, our own records, like six, seven records. Could could you see yourself like FNO turning FNO into like a legitimate business enterprise, yeah. a record yeah. label, stuff like that? We're working yeah. on that as, uh, right now as we speak. Yeah. 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 What are some of the musical projects you guys have coming up? Any like big visuals you you guys are dropping? Any albums, full length projects? Yeah. 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 We, my man said you want me to work on an album in a lot. Yeah, I gotta work on my album too. Yo, we 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 used to, everybody's asking this question. Everybody wanted to know like if I was gonna do like an album myself or album, bro. Yeah, we're going to do album together, we're going to drop individual album, me and him going to do one together. We're going to get, I'm telling you, we're going to get the music out there. I feel that, I feel that. Um, what's, do, what are some of the features you guys are going to have in an album? Any like surprises, anything like that? Is B-Love going to be on that album? Like, do we, do you kind of know what the features are going to be or is it just going to be most of you? Yeah. I know it's going to be sneaky. It's going to be some it's shit coming, though. It's going to be some shit. We're going to put it out there, we're going to put it out there, it's coming up. Dude, you guys gotta make another song with JD because that song was so fucking good, bro. You yeah. crushed it. You had the middle verse, right? Yeah. So it was Nunu, then you. You had the yeah. sunglasses on, and you Facts. you went in on that fucking song. That was my first time when I was like took notice of you. I was like, damn, I need to interview Glizzy. Like, I feel like your flow like has just changed and improved. Like, that's over so the nice. Year. Yeah, gangsta. Yeah, guess what? Looking. Off the dome. Yeah, that's all for my head too, gangsta. Off that's the wild. Yeah, y'all styles like complement each other because like low key you guys don't sound the same, but that's a good thing when you have a duo when mm -hmm. either both of you guys don't sound different and shit. Mm -hmm. Are you guys gonna start dropping more on your own YouTube channel or do you like dropping on Raps and Hustles? Like when I think of you guys, I feel like you guys are big names on Raps and Hustles, and it's helped you a lot because that's how a lot of fans heard of you guys mm -hmm. because of those big visuals on Raps and Hustles. But are you guys gonna start building out your personal page? Or yeah. 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 We both got our both for me. We both got our YouTube page. I gotta build my shit higher. I ain't gonna. And we just gonna start dropping on our own page. I don't care if it moves slow. I don't care. You know, yeah, we gotta push. It. It's gonna work. It's, I don't care if like those. It take time. For it me. take time. Yeah. I feel like. I'm gonna build my own thing up. Who do you guys think is the most overrated rapper in Brooklyn? Um, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Wait, we both gonna have our. We both gonna have our. Yeah, yo, know, each of these questions, you both, you both got go separately. You go first. I saw the Donnie. No, overrated. Like, what you oh, like you talking about like over? Oh yeah, in a bad way, overrated. You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, I, I know what you're saying. Um, you mean like in a bad way, like? Yeah, I'm gonna like, ask overrated and then underrated. Nobody. Yeah, I don't wanna do that. I don't. Do that I don't do. Nobody, okay, okay, I feel like. I would say underrated. You say underrated. Now underrated. Yeah. Cause I a lot, I, I see a lot of names overrated. <laughs> a lot of people who get mad. Yeah. Say that's, that's straight dirt. Dirt. Say ABC. Not saying I'm nothing. Tired of it. Tired. Chad. Underrated though. Now you can say Donnie. Yeah, you can say Donnie. My son Donnie. Yeah. yeah. A lot of niggas. I feel like everybody that's around me at rap is underrated. Yeah. All my niggas are underrated. Yeah. yeah. We even underrated sometimes. We even underrated sometimes. Um, one thing about y'all's rapping styles is like that when I think of you guys is like y'all's disses are like mad disrespectful but also like really well written. Like how do you guys just think of this shit? Like you're just rapping that shit off the dome? Like yeah, it's real pain. Yeah. It's Especially real pain. Rich Glizzy lately has been mad disrespectful, bro. Like people are <laughs> taking Facts. notice, man. Like get us tight. <laughs> they really mad gangster. I gotta come back. Do you think like Brooklyn has become more like more safe and more chill the past few years or the opposite like is shit just like make safe for us but yeah safe for us for the now. yeah damn, I'm safe for the that's wild what do you guys think of like the rise of like bronx in in the drill scene like what what are you guys thinking of that do you guys respect a lot of the rappers there who are some rappers other than b love you know other than shy uk that you've taken notice of that you know you might want to work with in the future or you mm -hmm. think are good at rapping Oh, shit. I know they're taking over shit, but I don't really pay attention to it like that. So, like, 
I really only really work only really like looked into yeah two rappers yeah yeah I fuck with those you feel me I feel like yeah, that um do you guys have any like visual shot that you guys haven't dropped yet that you know yeah. oh shit what like with who with Clo or john centron like who, who um, you've been shooting I with smooth dog we got affiliated yeah are you guys just like waiting a little bit to drop it or just you know nah, yeah. we just like they just in the middle again edit it yeah so yeah. like yeah we got videos coming we just up keep getting, we just keep paddling them up we just going we're going to drop it yeah um, that's big, man. That's big. Who, who are like kind of like the top bloggers you guys like tune into? Do you guys ever tune into like BMG Upper Class or any of like the YouTubers? Like I already look at YouTube, but I know yeah. really like it was one that was it was one that was really on my mind. Was um, I be looking at shit on the radar, shit, the freestyle and shit. Yeah. Are you gonna? Are you? Are you? Uh, could you guys see yourself doing a freestyle for On the Radar or something like that coming up? Yeah. Or? yeah. In Hell yeah, dude. That's dope, man. That's dope. Are you guys gonna do a freestyle on there? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, dude. That's fire. That's fire. Um, what? Like, I, one thing I want to ask is like, if you could just pick one song out of your all of the songs you've released that defines you as a rapper, what's that one song? Like, if I could just show a fan, they don't know who Rich Nuna is, who Rich Glizzy is, they just want to hear one song. What song would that would you choose out of all the songs you made? You're like top song. Together. Ooh. It could be together or or just it's unreleased. Oh, what is what is it though? What's the name? Is it leaked and unreleased or is no. it just on your phone? Just, just on my phone. Damn. Huh? Oh yeah, it's a cover though. See, Affinity. It's one called Affinity and it's one called Fill It Down. Damn. What about ones you've released though? Ones I release. <laughs> I only release drills. So like, that's, yeah. That's that's only when I'm mad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's only when you're mad. Yeah. Nah, I, I, that's, that's me. That's me on a daily. That's me on a daily. But like, that's just, that's just not like when people get me mad. Man. Yeah. I'm, do you do you feel that anger when you're rapping in the yeah. stew? I really. I re I really start to start of myself. Yeah, I just think about what this nigga said about me. I just get mad. Like I want to make some. I want to make some songs for the bitches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, I feel like you guys would crush that. Yeah, like, we got key. songs like that, though. We got songs like that, we just didn't never drop it. That's what I'm saying. Like a song just about, like, partying, fucking yeah, bitches. Yeah, I feel yeah. like you guys would actually, like, do good in that, too. One thing I've seen about your visuals, it always looks like a party. Like, what's, I like, the most it. fun visual you've shot? Like, one it's where like you were shooting day. it and you were, like, having fun. Yeah, every day we have back a party. Back door is lit, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. back door. Because, uh, you know, our back door is like if we had two different videos in one day. No. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember seeing that. No, the KG, Rich New, PSA Part Two Two. Oh yeah, PSA Part Two. That shit was like one of them. You had girls and shit going. Yeah, I was yeah, like, PSA yeah, part I need two, to walk over, lit. bro. <laughs> I need to get in on the function. That's dope. That's dope. Um, I guess we're kind of getting to the getting to the end here. Like, where do you guys see yourself in the next couple of years, music wise? Like, are you is the plan just to keep dropping music, yeah. keep dropping singles? Yeah. And shit? We gonna be lit. Shows. We gonna get some shows in. Hell yeah. So yeah, we gonna be lit soon. Yeah. Do you, um, how was shooting like the Fort Green Cipher with Kane Frame and stuff? Was that like kind of a different experience? I feel like yeah. that was something that was really unique and just yeah, different. Was Especially, loud. I feel like you guys were one of the first people to do that. Yeah, we started that. Like, yeah, we started that. You heard? Stuff we started that. that. It's a lot of stuff we started. Like, yeah, we started a lot of shit. Yeah, everybody just took over. You see, like, you see how everybody was saying like this one word. This is one word everybody was saying like. But we need um, our man's the name that everybody be saying. And if you, if you listen to Revenge, you'll hear it. What's the word, though? It was like, it was like call out Nasty, he running, he trip. Like, that's yeah. my man's real name. Like, we call him Mr. Running, he trip. Oh. Hey, everybody, that, started everybody started using running, he trip for me. I feel like that's a really common yeah. phrase now. Yeah. When was Wait, when was that dropped? A year, a year ago. You're actually right, because I feel like yeah. that bar is, like, mad common. Everybody yeah. Saying, yeah. And that's like that's not like yeah, that's not like we just said in the chat. It's really somebody we name we named somebody that so I mean we been, we been calling him that before we started saying that song. Call our nasty runny trip. So we been saying that yeah. before we said that song. So, <laughs> that's it's wild, like, man. Shit. That's wild. Um, all right, guys, we're kind of coming to the end here. So just like open mic for you guys. Any shout outs? Anything like that? Like shout out to any of the guys? Like shout out all the guys. Six seven seven double F. Shout out RPF. Shout out everybody. Shout out the bros. Shout out all the bros. Free the <laughs> army. 
Oh, Freedom, Freedom Army. Can't forget Freedom about Freedom that. Army. Freedom Army. We're going to make it soon, you right? <laughs> and one, one more question I got to ask you guys. I forgot to ask it. It's like a two-part question. I'm creating a spreadsheet. Every rapper I interview asks this question. If a random dude hits up your DM and is like, Glizzy, I fuck with your music. I want a feature. How much are you taxing random dude that you don't know? Like, what's the price? Tell everybody who's going to be watching the interview. What's um, what's what's Nunu's price? What's Glizzy's price? I mean, we can't tell you. You got to man- ask the manager. You got to ask the manager for me. Yeah, shout out Mark. Yeah, shout out Mark. Shout out Big Wiz. And then the second part of the question. In a world you just got signed to a record label, A&R comes up to you guys, says you have an unlimited budget. You could get any feature you want on your song. Any feature at all. Baby. Little baby? Yeah. Yeah, same with me. Little baby. Polo G. Damn. Is that most of, is that most of the rap you listen to? Outside of New York drill stuff, what's yeah, most of the rap Dirk, you listen to? Baby. A Boogie. Yes. Yeah, Dirk, Lil Baby. What's the what's the what are some of the New York drill rappers you're listening to that can't be you guys? Like some names that you know are on your phone or on your Spotify that you listen to just walking around, hanging out in the V, whatnot. Mm, mm-hmm. I listen to everybody. Yeah, I listen to everybody. Everybody. Damn. Even the opposite music, are you tuned in sometimes, listening to what they're saying and shit on on their bars or not really? People are sending to me. Mm-hmm. And then I don't, I don't sit there and go, mm, listen to it. Let's try it. Some op song is fire. Some songs is fire. I'll give credit to what it's doing. I'm not a hate nigga. Some op song is fire. Some just plain dirt. Just doing a dick rock. I, I respect that. I respect the fuck out of that opinion. It's like, at a certain level as a musical artist, it's just like, you just got to respect the game. It's oh. like, if a song's good, a song's fucking good. That's a fact. It's some people that just, I don't mean, this country, this country, it's some people I never even, I don't never know them. I never seen them. It just came out of the Really? Wait, never has that happened before? Yeah. You don't even know that? Most of them, most of them, most of them, most of them, most of them. Most of the people you see this, we don't know. You, like, don't know never at all? Them. Them. I've never seen never them. I've always wondered with them. about that shit. That shit's mad That's funny. Weird. Do you do you think some of the reasoning they do that is for clout yeah, purposes? Clout you. Yeah. They don't even be doing shit to niggas. They just don't like us. They just don't like us. When you're listening to, like, because you guys are in the thick of it. If you follow New York Drill, people know who you guys are, and you guys are in the thick of it. There's a lot of back and forth. Whenever you're listening to, like, a diss track, like, from somebody who's dissing you guys, do you keep note of that bar, and you're like, okay, next time I go in the studio, I'm going to have to reply to this dude? No. No, I just, like, you just get kind of, like, pissed off, and like, it is what it is. Like, some tracks just don't need to be on my part. Yeah. And some people, too, some people... You just don't need to reply to you. Could tell you know when a nigga looking for clout. Yeah, you know it's like I don't know you're not like for me. Interesting. Nigga keep not, saying home, every, it's some niggas that say niggas our names and every song they make. Like, it's not one song they ain't say our name. Okay. Damn. So that's some dick riding behavior, kind of, because yeah. they're looking for the diss back because that's clout for them, pretty much. That's free clout. Maybe I should make a song called Dick Riders. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. You heard it here first. Let me know how you calling 03 on with 007 and get knock on your feet. Knock on me, put a flock on the video.